morning everybody it's Gina and we are here on Wednesday August 2nd to do my week in review on Weight Watchers and a little bit of um, current information about the Gina and her diet and we'll just get right into it oh and at the end of this video is going to be my what I ate in a day if you're interested in that, stick around um, for today. So even though this is coming out at 3, I am listing what I'm having for dinner. A little bit of information from the Gina in the beginning. I didn't read the weekly. Once again, um, after the meeting yesterday, me and Letitia and Lenny went to the dollar store and went shopping uh, a little bit. And then I had to head back to work. So I didn't actually even read the weekly. Um, the topic this week is eat your vegetables and we talked completely about fruits and vegetables fruit and vegetable stands during our entire meeting yesterday so she was on point good job point. Carol this entire week was all about getting your fruits and vegetables in um, they're zero points most of them and they're uh, we talked a lot about that how why are they zero? Well, they're zero in the eyes of Weight Watchers because they're they're filling, they're full of fiber, and um, it's a good go-to instead of junk when you need a sweet. So that's the kind of thought process what? behind it. So. Uh, what's not to like about fruits and veggies? Now, I know people, honestly, I know people who don't eat fruits and veggies. Letitia herself hated salad, would not eat salad when I first met her. Honestly, I really don't know that she eats it now, but I know she's put in a lot more vegetables. Um, and if you don't know who I'm talking about, she what she has been on several of my vide videos. Um, she joined Weight Watchers with me, and I think she's on like week six. Um... Her and Lenny both, I believe, are, are on week six. So, um, we're going to go ahead and read. Nutritious and satisfying and delicious on their own or in recipes. The Weight Watchers plan encourages you to eat them. That's why all fruits and most, most vegetables are zero points. points value. And what better time than summer to sample and savor fresh and in-season options at their peak of flavor. Just look around you uh, in your grocery store and your farmer's market. So my uh, leader, Carol, actually challenged us to go to farmer's markets this week. Now, in my town, farmer's market is on Tuesday. Um, and I did not go yesterday. And so if I went, it would have to be Saturday um, at the market where my kids sell their milk, um, which is a possibility, but we have here in California literally a fruit stand on every corner. I mean, no lie, even on the corner at the end of my street, they sell cherries. <laughs> and it's not a fruit stand. They just go out there with their car and, like, you know, you've seen strawberries in a box or whatever. Yeah, they sell cherries down there. But the season's over, so they'll move on oh. to something else. How it helps. Besides fueling your body with vitamins, fiber, and other nutrients it needs for its optimum health, fruits and veggies help you find success with your plan. They satisfy your hunger, bulk up meals, and it uh, bears repeating our healthy, low, or zero smart points, smart point choices when you need them. So, savor the flavor. That's their little catch. Savor the flavor. <laughs> I should probably put that on my thumbnail that I did those. So it gives you this little option here. I'll just show it to you. To write in ways to incorporate them into your week. And then it has the this week's follow-up at the bottom, which says, pick three meals or snacks this week and swap in a fruit in, uh, in a fruit, in season fruit or vegetable to help it fill you up. So today, in honor of that, I'll go get it. I brought sugar snap peas, which are always in the grocery store. 
this from, um, I think I did buy this at the grocery store, and grapes. So technically everything that I have here is from the grocery store. But you have to remember I live in California. Where most of you get your fruits and vegetables is where I live. So there's that. Um, I do have some fresh peaches in the house and um, one melon. It's called a golden honeydew. Um, I have never had it, so we'll see how that turns out. Okay, so think again. An unhelpful thought might be, I'd like to add more vegetables to my plan, but I don't have time to prepare them. A helpful thought might be, I don't have a lot of time, but I can buy pre-washed and pre-cut veggies that minimize prep or I can go grab on the go. And then an, uh, another unhelpful thought might be fruit, fruits and vegetables just don't fill me up. Well, is that really true? I don't know. A helpful thought might be fruits and veggies alone might not fill me up, but adding them to the usual meal can bulk it up while keeping the smart points value low. Down. Okay, so um, a couple of things that the ladies talked about in the meeting. None of the gentlemen spoke up yesterday, which was weird, because we have a guy named Brooks who talks in every meeting, along with another lady, and it ain't me. I got nothing else to say other than we laugh. Uh, and when I say we, I mean us three girls that go together. We just giggle because there's just one. There's always that one that has to have the show, and that's usually the Gina, but that's here on YouTube where this is my show. And you click in because you like the nutty lady, the crazy lady. But um, they talked a lot about um, one particular lady said, I went out in the garden, picked a tomato, an heirloom tomato, and cut it up and put a little bit of salt on it and sat down and ate it. And it was so good, I went out and got another one and did the same thing. She said, by the time I was done eating them two tomatoes, I was stuffed to the gills. And zero smart points and you're full you could maybe even skip a meal because you did it would I suggest someone go out and eat two whole tomatoes I don't know I mean really could it hurt you I doubt it and she was full and I guarantee you she either ate less or didn't eat at all during one meal um, so that was interesting but then the lady that felt the need to speak up to everything had a similar story and that's all I'm gonna say about it Anyways, um, so then the next page is the inspiration from your community, and um, the next page already is the recipe, and the recipe today is heirloom tomato and basil platter. Oh, yeah, that was what she talked about, the second lady, that she made um, something similar to this, a tomato salad, and went on about her own story that's better than all of ours. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Y'all don't know where I am. You don't know which lady I'm talking about. But there's always that one who has to just be center of attention in every given moment. I am not that person, and I know you all think I am, but I'm really not. I used to be, and maybe if I get thinner again, I might be. I don't know. Your that's Weight Watcher meetings. So I guess this, um, on the back page here, it gives the option of a Veggie Pal, which is a new option for you to purchase at your Weight Watcher meeting. And then the back page has, looks like, an additional recipe, which is called Mexican Style Mac and Cheese. And there it is. Great points. I am not a fan of mac and cheese. I think if you followed me at any amount of time, for any amount of time, you already know I don't really care for melted cheese. So um, that kind of leaves pizzas out. They're not my favorite. I'll eat them if I have to because my whole family loves them. And, um, you know, like queso sauces or things like that. I'm going to eat a grape. Things like that. Just not a fan. I don't know what it is about that texture. I don't mind a good cold piece of hard cheddar cheese. I like that real well. But you melt it, make it all slimy. I'm not interested. Same thing with butter. Hate melted butter. 
I think that might be why I don't really care for lobster because everybody dips it in butter. Now I will eat crab, but I don't dip it in butter because that's just gross. It's just gross. Okay, so we are still doing our uh, summer vision where I have only missed the one week, week seven. I had a little accident yesterday with my whole thing. Everything got wet. I made the mistake of putting these in my lunch pail along with my water, which was the tink thing that Julie sent me. You know, something similar to this, but my iced tea, no sugar. Simply billing. Um, and it tipped over when I went into the Dollar Tree and I didn't realize it, but everything wet. So it kind of really hurt my vision board. It's really bugging me. It is like seriously bugging me that it's not perfect. Isn't that crazy? But this particular week's is Cherish. I know there's a song about Cherish. Something about Cherish the Love, but I can't think of it right now. Or I'd sing it for you. Something like Cherish the Love. Da, da, da. Really, really bland. No, move, it's no movement in that line. Da, 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 da. Old 60s song. You guys can think of I think it, it might be called Cherish the Moment. I don't know. Can't think of it. If you guys can think of it, let the Gina know because now it's going to drive me crazy. And that is it for the week in review. Now, as far as my weight, I was pleasantly surprised down. Not a lot. And it is absolutely going to drive me crazy that I have to carry this whole crunchy little new, this for it's going to drive me crazy. Four more weeks. And it really messed it up because you can't really see it. I don't know if you can see it at all. Um, I am down 0.8 for 14.8 pounds. I am right under 15 pounds. I'll take it. Yes, it's slow. Yes, I'm having issues with how slow this is going, but the director of the food bank yesterday, they were kind of asking me, how you doing? How's it, you know, how's it going? Whatever. So I told them, and I said it, basically that, you know, it's going really slow. And she goes, stop it. Stop it right there, Gina. I don't want to hear that. Come out of your mouth again. She said, you go somewhere and you pick up 15 pounds. And you gripe about that you only took lost 15 pounds. You go do that. You go pick up 15 pounds. She was like, getting on to me. I was like, rare. Gina gonna go. I don't need that crap, but I knew what she was doing. She had a good heart. Coffee. Can you see? Let me adjust my crown. I'm getting my bracelet. Yes, I am. You guys, I'm loving Simply Filling. I know I'm only one day in. I don't have to track. I don't have to count. I don't have to I know this is the part where you guys are going to yell at me. I don't have to eat if I don't want to. I don't have to try to get a specific amount of points. If I'm hungry, I'll eat. You know, well, I'm not going to eat this. This is my last resort today, which you'll see here in a minute. But, you know, if I'm hungry, I'll eat. Um, it is currently um, 9.57 a.m. And so 10 o'clock, and I've had a banana and a cup of coffee. Here is coffee, cup of coffee number two. And you need to know that when I say cup of coffee, I don't mean a cup of coffee like I used to mean. I, I wish you could see this. I don't know that you can. I just made this. That was my first drink of it. Can you see how low it is down there? It's maybe, let's see. Here it is. This is my cup of coffees now because I have it down to where... I drink three max. I'm not drinking four, and I know I said I could count four. If I need to, I will. If I'm having a headache day or whatever. One in the morning, one at night before I go to bed, somewhere in the middle, like right now, and it's only 10 a.m., I'm having another one. Um, and so those are my three points a day for sure that I'm going to count, and then sporadically throughout the week if I have to count anything. But other than that, yeah, I'm loving Simply Filling. I'm just saying. Stay tuned with the Gina if you want to see what I ate today. Other than that. 
what's for lunch today. I made myself a sandwich with the Sara Light bread. Sara Lee Light bread. I'm going to take a nectarine just in case I get hungry. But I plan on eating the sandwich, which has turkey, um, some fat free mayonnaise, no cheese, and some horseradish on it, and a little bit of uh, mustard, some sugar snap peas, and some grapes. This is what I intend to eat right here. If I'm hungry before I get home, I will eat this or, nectar. Um, breakfast this morning, I just took what was left of the, which was about this much, chicken breast that we had with our salad last night for dinner and um, a banana. That's what I had for breakfast. So tonight for dinner, I'm having a bowl of cereal. I know you all will think that that is not healthy enough, but that's what I'm having. I'm having a bowl of Cheerios with some fat-free milk. And tomorrow night, I'm going to use the rest of this rotisserie chicken to make my enchilada recipe, um, which is Salisa enchiladas. You, got, you all have seen them. However, I have figured out a way to make my enchiladas completely simply filling um, with the exception of I can't, I need to scan the enchilada sauce itself. They might end up using one of my weeklies for, per enchilada, but I think I can make it simply filling if I can find a sauce that will work. And that is it for my food today, all simply filling. Everything that I'm eating today is 100% com completely simply filling. I think. Okay, so if you're still here, you'll see what I ate for the day. I know what my plan was. I know what I shared with you. And tomorrow, if it's different than what I've already shared with you, I will let you know. You have a good day and a blessed night. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. God bless.